Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan Pan, Technical Evangelist for Viv Labs. Be sure to follow me at John Without the H on Twitter. Uh, there you will be able to keep up to date with various tutorials that I'm building, along with uh, other shenanigans I might get into with Viv Labs. So in this video, we're going to be going over a Hello World tutorial built in Bixby Studio. I'm going to give a quick demo of what we're going to be building. And we're going to do, hi Bixby, say, Hello world. Hello world. So Bixby will basically say whatever you want her to. Say, help me, I'm trapped. Help me, I'm trapped. Let's go back to the PowerPoint real quick. Now, when you start any new Bixby capsule, you want to start with the modeling. And in Bixby, modeling can be broken down into two main portions, concepts and actions. So concepts in Bixby are very similar to variables in other programming languages, and actions are more similar to functions in other programming language. We're going to start off by first creating a new capsule. After I find my mouse, I'm going to first go ahead and close this capsule. Then I'm going to create a new capsule just by clicking on this. And let's name this playground.helloworld. We have this blank capsule and it's not going to do anything right now. Let's go back to the slide. I said we would first start off by creating the concept what user said. Right click this thing, select new, and select a new model. We're going to call this what user said. And click on the template and make sure it is a text. Then click create. Now that we have this text here, we can give it a description if we want, but I think the name is pretty self-explanatory, so we can just leave it as is. And next, we want to create the concept called Say This. Say This is what Bixby will say to the user. So let's do that. Right-click, select New, Model, and we're going to name this Say This. And it's going to be a text as well. And that's it. That's all we really have to do. Then we're going to start working on our action. An action, like I mentioned earlier, is similar to a function. In this case, this action will be taking what user said as an input. Let's right click this, select new, model, and you'll notice that it starts off on action. That's what we want. So call this one the say something action. Here we're going to have a bunch of stuff. Let's start filling it out. So for this input, we're going to call it the what user said. Now do be conscious of the casing because casing matters. Uh, this input will be used as a reference in the JavaScript, which is why it's camel cased and not uh, title case or you know uppercase. So this type is going to need to be the what user said. This one here references the model itself. Then we have this min optional max one. We actually need this to be required because it's going to be uh, we're going to require what user says. So now for this here, we're going to output the model, say this. And finally, let's get rid of this warning. You can press escape like this uh, in order to show a bunch of options. Select type, and you can press escape in the parentheses and select search. Now if we go back to the slide, we'll see that we're going to make something called say something.js. Say something.js is where we're going to be able to do some custom logic uh, to our uh, what user said or to our inputs. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's right click new action JavaScript and name this say something.js. And like I said, be mindful of the capitalization. And we're going to set the arguments here, the parameters of this function to match what we set it in the say something model. In this case, it's going to be what user said. Copy and paste that right over there. And we're going to return what user said plus an exclamation mark. Now, the main purpose of really adding the exclamation mark is just to demonstrate how you can incorporate your own custom logic into uh, Bixby. So right now, though, Bixby doesn't know that these two files are linked together. We do that with the endpoints file. So the endpoints file will link the say something action to the say something JavaScript. 
let's right click this and select new endpoints. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to name this uh, capsule.endpoints. And right here, you want to do the say something. And we're going to want to do the accepted inputs, which from earlier is what Yuzu said. And finally, this is the JavaScript file itself, which is say something.js. Now we can delete this second set of action endpoints. And Bixby does auto save uh, from time to time. I personally like to just hit command save or control save or control S just to be sure that it did save. Once we've done that, we've completed the loop and the JavaScript is linked to the action and it will output the concept say this. So now we've taught Bixby how to say this or how to say something. How do we invoke Bixby to say something? And we do that with natural language training. We're going to train Bixby to, to understand hi Bixby, say hello world, and then Bixby will then say hello world. In order to do that, we have to right click this and select new training. Just hit create. And right here, we're going to want to type that uh, utterance, which is hi Bixby, say hello world, then click add. Okay, so now you've got this thing here. We can see that the goal for this is going to be the action, say something. So when you say hi Bixby, say hello world, Bixby is going to then attempt to do the action, say something. Now, we want it to say hello world. We don't want it to say hi Bixby, say hello world. In order to do that, we will select hello world and map it to the concept what user said. So click hello and drag, click and drag over this, and you'll see you select both. Then type in say, oh wait, sorry, for this one, this is going to be what the user said. Click done, and then click save. Okay. Click compile. All right, so now it says that Bixby learned, hi Bixby, say hello world. This will execute the say something.js JavaScript file. And then it'll output the say this concept, which is then output to the user. So let's go see what happens then. To open the simulator, click on this little uh, phone icon here. And we're gonna just click reset. You might have to click uh, compile right there. Hi Bixby, say, Hello world. Here's what I found. So Bixby's not saying hello world to us. Uh, she's saying, here's what I found, and then showing us hello world. However, we want Bixby to actually say hello world. In order to do that, we use a dialogue in Bixby. And if you recall earlier from the demo at the beginning, uh, Bixby put the text at the very top. Let's go ahead and make the dialogue. Right click this, select new, dialogue. And we're going to name this the say this based on uh, the output name dot dialog. And here it's going to be a result dialog. And we're going to match say this. So in this case, what it's doing is it's matching uh, the concept that gets outputted from Bixby. And this is going to be the say this concept. Uh, we're going to be able to refer to this as this uh, later in the, or, you know, one line down from this. This is going to be some funky Bixby specific syntax. Uh, in this case, we just wanted to actually uh, give us back a titled version of this. And this is also what Bixby is going to end up reading and, or saying to us as well. Let's give it a try. Hello world. So now that we have Bixby saying hello world, uh, we're going to want to change the result view to not just have the exact same thing repeated here. And in order to do that, we use what we call a result view. Now keep in mind Bixby is multimodal first, so it really emphasizes having some sort of UI. So let's go ahead and create the result view. Just right click this, select new, view. We're going to name this the say this view. So here, just press escape and select result view, add the curly brackets, then press escape and select match. 
Here, just like the dialog, you want to match the say this concept. And we'll just name this as this. So in order to render something, you need to use the render tag. And in here, you want to render a layout with a section, content, and then you'll have access to all these different types of things. Let's add the image. I have this GIF here. If you want to use this GIF, I'll post a link to it in the description section of this video. Bixby supports PNGs, uh, JPEGs, uh, GIFs as well for the images. Just select this image and oh, before we move it into Bixby Studio, right click this, create a new folder called Assets. And I like to put my images in an images folder, which we'll just do that by right clicking new folder images. Just click and drag that into the images right here. And we're going to add a image. Press escape aspect ratio. We're going to make this a four, three, and we're going to make the background transparent. We're going to center it as well. Object position center. And we're going to make it cover it. Finally, we're going to add the URL, which is slash images slash hello world dot GIF. So do keep in mind that this here, this uh, local path will assume that you put your stuff in the assets folder. And with that, let's run it again. Hello world. There we go. It just shows you the uh, world view right there. So I hope that has improved your worldview on Bixby Studio. With that, uh, that concludes this tutorial.